Okay, so integrate this here. Okay, now remember when you integrate, you have to get all the x's at the top. Okay, so we can take that x power 4 up there. Okay, so because x minus 4. So then we can integrate. Remember, then we add 1 to the power, so you get 5 over 2. When you add 1 there, divide then by that new power, 5 over 2. Okay, plus then 9. X then will add one to that power, you get minus three, divide then by that new that new power minus three plus the new constant. So then fraction on the bottom, flip it. So the two goes at the top, so you get four. X to the power of five over two over five. The minus three then, okay. Well nine divided by minus three is minus three, so it becomes minus three, x to the power of minus three plus your constant. Um part B. Now, when you notice with part B, um, first of all, it has this line here and the curve, okay? And the first thing it says, find the coordinates of A and B, okay? So, of course, what's important with A and B is that we look at the fact that it's where the curve and line intersect, okay? So, where the curve and line intersect, we can find the solutions by solving simultaneously. So, we've got Y equals... Um, x squared plus 2, which is equation 1, and y equals 3x then, which is equation 2. So solving then simultaneously, we'll have x squared plus 2 equals 3x. So x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. And then two brackets then, so x and x, 2 and 1, and they're both going to be minus, aren't they? So x minus 1 is 0, or x minus 2 is 0. So x will equal 1, or x will equal to 2, okay? Um, so once you've got your x coordinates, we need then to get the y values. Well, of course, then y will equal to 3 times whatever x is, because you've got this here, haven't you? It's triple x, you get 3. Triple it here, you get 6. So a will be 1, 3, and b will be 2, 6, Okay? So what you need to do then is go back to your diagram and it says then, go back to the graph and it says work out the area of the shaded region. And what I would do here, I'd split this into two, okay, and appreciate then you've got triangle here and you've got the area under the curve here. So if I work out the area of the triangle, now we know that's going across one there, okay, and we know the height is three, okay, and just let's put my B coordinates in as well, so we know that X is two and B is six there, okay? So I just got to work out the area of that triangle, yeah? So if I um, set that out there, I'm gonna put, um, what should I put here? So area of triangle is of course half base times height. So that'll be half times the base, which is one, times the height, which is three. So we get 1.5, okay? I'll write that there. And then, to get the area then under the curve, simply got to integrate the curve, which is x squared plus 2 with respect to x between 1 and 2. Okay, so integrate that then, we'll get x cubed upon 3 plus 2x between 2 and 1. So we'll put 2 in, so we get 2 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 2, and then we'll put 1 in. 1 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 1, okay, and it's the case then using our calculator to work that out, so I'll work out each bracket to begin with, so, um, so we've got 2 cubed over 3 plus 2 times 2, so that comes out to be 20 over 3, and then take away then 1 cubed over 3 plus 2, so that'll be 7 thirds, and work that out, of course, then it's 13 thirds. So you get the total area then, we're just going to add them, we'll the triangle, which is 1.5, add then 13 over 3. So that comes to 35 over 6, okay? So my total area then with the, with the triangle and the area and the curve combined.